Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Let's get back to it. We're in Captain of Industry. I think last episode we mentioned that this episode we want to try to get more colonists here. We have plenty of housing, but we need more workers. And one, I had a comment a little while ago that mentioned that we can do something in here to get more population. Okay, population growth increases by 40%. Uh, yeah, we can boost it. Is there a way to instantly get population? Don't see it. Plenty of food, eviction. We still want to fire this thing up for the edicts. So let's do that. Let's, um, let's see. This guy is very close. Once the, the offshore oil rig gets up to 880 oil, um, then our cargo ship will go and fetch it. But once it comes back and unloads, maybe we can turn this whole thing off for a little bit and free up a bunch of workers. In the meantime, let's get, we talked about uh, increasing our farm use too. Let's get a couple more farms put down. We can grow potatoes and get a second crop fed in here. That'll get us even more of a unity boost, I think. So let's do it. Irrigated farms, and where's our water? Down below. Is that belt in the way? I don't think so. And can I get water? Will I be able to place this exactly right? And that looks darn close. Let's take it. And I think I could do one more. Yeah, eventually we'll may get rid of this farm. But uh, I think it's going to be a while before we would need to. And water. Okay, water gets a little squirrely here because we have this storage array. Um, hmm, do we want... I don't want to put water on the other side. We may have to rework some belts just so I can get water over here for this farm. Um, I may have to set this off back a little bit. Yeah, that's going to make people upset. What about... Bear with me. We may have to cheat this in a little. And where am I going to get my water? That'll come across. I think we can do it here. <laughs> I think we can do it here. I know it's not symmetric, but... Oh, am I going to be able to get my food out? Yeah, yeah, we will. We will. Yeah, we'll do it like that for now, and then we'll run the water. In fact, we can do that now, run the water. Um, off of this pipe, I think we can, yeah, branch this way. Don't think I need the level T pipe. I may start using level one for a bit till I'm sure we need level twos. If this farm gets starved out of water or something, then I'll fix it, but... I don't think we're going to have a problem. Um, this is going to be a little bit different to the belt. Okay, now can you go? Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. And there's actually two farms here, so let's get the other one. Uh, you're going to want to do a wiggle, right? So I'd rather have you just start... Here, can you? Yeah. That'll work. That'll be two more farms. Let's set the crop to taters and manure. Taters and manure. Um, I know I could do two different crops here. I suppose we do have different outputs. We could try rotating crops, send some up here to this belt, send the vegetables up here, and send the potatoes across into some storage, maybe. And then into here. Um, let's see, or better yet, this would be the farm we might want to split, right? It's current, <laughs> we'd have to rebelt it. But we could put this on a rotation to do potatoes, too. Yeah, we'd have to rework that belt. Um, that might be worth doing, actually. 
Let's see. Now we're down 25 workers. <laughs> Our oil cargo ship is out. Let's see. When it comes back, maybe we can turn that whole complex off and save some workers. This guy's waiting. In fact, I think I can turn these off. That doesn't get us much. Gets us six workers. Kind of wanted to get this processed. Um, can the cargo ship be paused or will it not? Let's see. Can I pause this while you guys unload? Will it still unload? Take a look and see. Looks like it'll still unload. So that's a way to save some workers. Then once this cargo's unloaded, boy, we're ready for another shipment pick up though. This let's prioritize so that unit storage gets built. Um, yeah, we want to free up workers. These farms are moving. Um, I may pause them. Let's see if we can recruit some people. Here's my, my town here, my towns. Okay, we'll get five from them. Five more from these guys. It's an easy trade for unity. We'll take it. Okay, now we're four in the positive with workers. These look to still be unloading. Wood is still... Oh, that one's full. This one we really... I'll quick deliver it. Oh, I don't have the parts. <laughs> Yeah, that wood is being used to create parts. We're really short on wood. We'd like to have all these storages filled up too. Although this guy's doing good. What's going on with wood? I guess we need more workers, right? To turn up our production of construction parts. That's what's wrong with what's going on right now. I can't really shut down maintenance, I don't think. But we're doing good. I could shut down one. See what happens. See if we get in trouble there. But then, since that's shut down, maybe we can shut down one of these. It's not much. Four workers. May not add up to much. Electronics are looking pretty good. Kind of want to turn this guy on, but we need five more workers. Let's shut down one of these farms. Get this turned on. Let's start burning through some of this unity and benefit from it. Fuel saver, we'll take it. And maintenance reducer, we'll take it. Okay, now we're only at plus 64 unity per month. I'm actually going to go for the water demands increase hmm, by 10%. That's not such a bad thing. Water saver, don't care about that. Population, we could do the growth boost. But I don't mind taking on, um, I don't mind doing the unity purchase from the villages to get workers. Let's do just temporarily the farming boost until we burn through some of this unity we have accrued. That should show negative here in the next cycle, next time the game cycles over here. These guys have oil. We're going to pause this. Believe they can still unload it. Uh, if we unpause these, <laughs> shoot, I forgot I had those paused. Yeah, so they're gonna sip that oil out of there. That'll all stay running. Uh, how are we doing on workers? Fifteen surplus workers. Let's turn on this farm, and now we can get. Uh, we're a little bit short. Just this guy says he's short. I don't know why. It says 14 out of 14. Maybe that needs to cycle too. Mm, not sure. Let's check rubber real quick. Okay, we're just about loaded on rubber. I'm going to pause that. Short blanket with these resources. And I'm going to go for turning on one of these. That's good for four workers. Okay, we don't have enough to turn on another one. So we'll go with that. Now let's route these potatoes. And I kind of want to rework this belt and 
add crop rotation here. Let's try it. Potatoes for you and the manure. Okay, fertility needed says zero. I think we'll be okay. But we need to rework this belt. Let's do it. This is to go um, because we want to get, I think, let's see, can I get that one out of there? I think it's U-shaped conveyor for potatoes. Can you... Oh. You might just be okay. But I'd like to raise you up. Yeah, this will work. Um, you can probably just stay at that level. Come across here. Boom. Here, snake around. This. Uh, maybe this direction makes more sense. Bear with me. You keep on going. These potatoes can jump up and... Connect to there. These ones could do the same thing here. This one's going to do both. So it'll dump its vegetables out that way towards that big storage array. We got a bunch of storage for vegetables. Um, and then when it does potatoes, those will go on the new belt, the U shaped conveyor, join up with potatoes from this farm and this farm, and then make their way into this storage. How do we want to do that? Let's... Hmm. <laughs> Is there room for another housing block here? No. Okay. So we don't necessarily need to conserve space over here. Oh, it's too bad. We're just a little bit chewing into this, but we have tons of room. Tons of room for more community stuff. And we're doing a fill over here eventually. You can see that's starting to fill in the trash. That'll give us more room to build. So yeah, U-shaped conveyor all the way out to here. And I don't think we need to store potatoes. We'll see. Check them out. We got a crop already. We run in, yeah, we're just running single speed. Low food supply, that's a lie, I think. And it has to do with the fact that we have, um, we have a lot of our food in item storages. I guess I'm just going to come down here. It's a lot of belt. Are you on the ground? I don't want you on the ground. Start that again. In fact, I wouldn't mind this all the way up. Did something kind of wacky with the belts last time. I don't think I need to go as exotic this time. I'm just going to go straight in. There's plenty of room. We could have changed that belt up. It's a little bit overkill. Now I need workers to run my food market. Fortunately, I have four and I only need three. Let's unpause that. We have potatoes anxious to make their arrival on the plates of our citizens. That's fine. We'll let these run. Water is starting to accumulate. I have both wells running right now. Groundwater supply looks great. We have tons. Rain's coming down. These guys should be collecting a bunch of water for us and filling up the new storage array. We added, what do we add? 10 tanks here. Then we have a bunch of tanks here. 
Those wells will probably run for quite a while. What are we doing on worker zero? Let's send the ship out. Boom. And can you go there? Nope, not enough fuel. Those are too far out. Those are nodes we just uncovered last episode. We can go check this spot out. And while we're here, let's recruit three and three. Tech tree, we're about to do the maintenance depot. Once this area fills in, I think we can start drilling on this limestone. Where do we want to do that? We talked a little bit about that last episode. I have room here. It's not the closest. We can actually start. Hmm. We're going to need a ramp if we do it over here. The bricks, because uh, to get at this sand, to start mining this. Somewhere I need to break in here and run these belts underneath a ramp so an excavator can get over there. Uh, there's not even enough room for me to put a vehicle depot <laughs> to cheat it. I probably could cheat it. I uh, probably could cheat it, actually. I could put, if I wanted to be clever and ultra paranoid about ramps, I could put a vehicle depot down here. Bigger building than I thought, actually. Right too low. We could fill that, put in a vehicle depot, spit out the excavator, and it never needs to leave this area. It can just start chewing up sand. This vehicle depot is really useless except for cars now or trucks. Excavators have nowhere to get to. Hmm. Okay, that guy just dumped. What's going on with the coal? Okay, these guys are terraforming to push back this land. Then these guys are going to chew through a bunch of coal here. Dirt is not looking great. How are we doing over here on the dirt supply? Yeah, not so good. That could become an issue. All right, that guy is empty. The offshore oil platform also doesn't have enough oil to pick up. These guys are now empty, so we can shut these off too. Boom, boom. Here's the pause tool. That would have been a little faster. This one, I want to keep running if we can. We need, we need wood. Uh, you can actually go pick up another load. We have just enough workers to do it. Okay, we're chewing. We're still positive in the unity, huh? Thought we'd be in the negative by now. Reduces water consumed in the settlements and farms by 20%. Let's, hmm, don't feel like we need that. Maybe we'll do the growth boost. Health boost, increases safety conditions to get an extra 10% health points. Health is actually fairly neutral here, it looks like. What does the 13 mean? Um, oh, we start out with 15 or something? Yeah, water has helped the health situation quite a bit. And then once those potatoes start flowing, they taste those delicious, delicious potatoes. Uh, maybe the health will go up too. Here comes the, here they come. Oh man, get the fryers ready. Eat up the, eat up the oil. Special treat is on its very slow way to the colony. Yeah, that should, that'll be good. So let's, um, yeah, let's take advantage of the unity. Uh, what do we want? Health boost. I guess we'll do the growth boost, right? We're itching for more workers. We have the housing. Let's take it. <clears throat> now that'll bring Unity down to the negative. I don't mind chewing through some of it. The other option is just to run some of these uh, factories on a boost. That might be, that actually might be a better use. Hmm. 
These ones don't really save us power by boosting. Yeah, we don't have many electric assemblies down right now. Uh, I have stuff I could shut down over here if I wanted to. Look at this lab equipment. Let's shut down this guy. Vehicle parts we've already shut down. We haven't manufactured any vehicles in quite a while. These mechanical parts we do still kind of need. But even that's really backed up. So we have one guy producing lab equipment. Boy, I'm tempted to pause that too. Let's pause all of this. Let's chew through the lab equipment we have queued up here. Because it's just sitting. And then let's maybe amp up the brick production. Or no, let's amp up these guys. Assuming they have enough bricks. Barely. Barely. But yeah, let's use the workers to try and improve our construction parts. Okay, Unity is now down half a... Half a Unity per month. That's no big deal. That'll take a while. Uh, do I have the workers for this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get these guys going. Should have what they need. Bricks look like they're a problem. Might need to pause one of these for bricks, unfortunately. Bricks, bricks, bricks. Six, of course. That'll do. We'll take it. Okay, Maintenance Depot 2. Uh, we're already working on new research, so that's fine. Our ship has discovered a settlement. Oh, nice. Can we recruit from that settlement? Where are you? That's you. We have to donate. What do you want? You want 120, and I only have 81. Trying to get that production ramped up. All right, the potatoes have made their way in. They're being served up. Are we getting any bonuses out of that? Food, health, food, plus six. Looks like that just snapped in. Edicts, health, uh, food. Okay, potatoes and vegetables. We're getting a little boost off of having two different kinds of food. Yeah, look at this. Now we're only barely in the negative on Unity. We could boost something and save a little electricity. Do I have anything that's even electric? Maybe maintenance? Let's boost that. Pause one of these. That'll shut off all of our electric usage for maintenance activities. Coal's looking okay. Dirt we saw is a problem. Our terraforming crew is getting some dirt. It may not be enough. And they're waiting on trucks. Let's build... Let's build at least three more trucks and get them in rotation. We can do that here. Of course, it's going to take workers. Um, actually, let's do it over here since it's just trucks and we have the vehicle parts right next door. Let's uh, unpause this, queue up three trucks, and try to remember to shut this thing off once they're built. Yeah, dirt's going to hamper us. Hopefully these guys will produce, get enough dirt. Uh, and I, the whole reason for building those trucks was to put them over here. In fact, look at coal. Coal has recovered. <laughs> we can take a couple trucks off of that. Let's take three trucks off of that because they're just backed up with nowhere to take it. And let's put some trucks on here keep these guys doing their thing and hopefully we'll get dirt moved around. We are still dumping here. We could, once we get up on this land, 
Hmm. Once we can get over here, what I might do, I might build a, I might find a spot for a vehicle depot. <laughs> I'm not totally against ramps, but I'm kind of putting it off building them. I just not crazy about the way they look kind of bulky, but anyway, I could put a vehicle depot over here, uh, get another tree harvester going on that stuff. And then, um, get some excavators going on the sand, on the limestone. Maybe we clear out some space and do all the brick production here and just belt it, belt it across to where it's needed. Uh, eventually those, I'm talking about like the concrete blocks. We belted those. We could change the recipe that we're using for construction parts. Right, we just change it down to this guy. But there's a fair amount of infrastructure we need to build to do that. Uh, but once built, we would just kind of tap into this belt here that's bringing the bricks in. And then maybe, I don't know what we would do with the bricks production. We could still keep some of this in place and maybe store them off or something or do something over here with bricks. We'll see. The clay bricks are the ones that we're making from dirt. We'll let this thing just run. Uh, I have, yeah, well, let's let this run. All right. Wood is, has improved a lot. In fact, we may shut this down after this next trip when our, uh, ship comes back. This guy's probably getting ready to go out for oil. You could make one trip, 880. We can let this run a little longer, though, before we need to send that guy out. But yeah, once the cargo ship comes back with wood, we'll shut down this whole operation. Yeah, we're real close to being able to hop on this land. We, you know, we could have done it differently. Um, in fact, let's see if we can place that. I think I do want to go with that plan of putting a vehicle depot. Oh yeah, we have tons of room. It's hard to know to pick the building, how big it's going to be. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Let's get this some anywhere really. And then once that's built, we know trucks can make their way over here. How about, Kind of want it out of the way a little bit. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I don't know where to put it. We're going to be mining right in here, this sand eventually. How about right there? If we have to move it, we'll move it. And then I'll put this on high priority and we'll see um, how soon trucks can actually get to this. Maybe they can get to it now. I don't even know. Keep an eye on maintenance. It's at 99%. We only have one maintenance building running right now, which is amazing, but it's on a boost. I have surplus workers, so I'm going to kick on this factory. Dirt is an issue. We know. I'm not really doing much about it, am I? Trying to keep these two excavators busy. They're getting a fair amount of fill out of here. Basically rock, right? Could throw one of our coal excavators over there. They're kind of don't have much to do at the moment because their trucks are backed up. This, oh, we said we were going to pause our tree harvester and get those workers out of there. The worker, I guess. We could um, hit recover for 20 unity. And if this ends up being the only vehicle depot that is on at the time, unpaused it'll spawn in over there so that's what we'll probably do pickup can't reach its destination these kind of drive me nuts but they do point out problems hmm that's actually going to tie up that truck isn't it this guy same thing yeah i think i need to pause the construction of this i thought we could just leave it probably need to pause it uh down here even and then hopefully, oh, we could quick deliver. Oh man, that's kind of a cheat. 
that's kind of a cheat. Uh, it's not worth doing because even if I have trucks over here, they can't, can't really do anything. There's not much they can do. I guess they could mine stuff, but there's no building materials unless we did quick. We could do quick deliver and set up a whole factory over here. That feels kind of cheaty. Let's wait. Hopefully these trucks will be reassigned and go do something else. All right. All of our construction buildings are running. Do we have our cargo back? We do. Let's pause this. Pause these guys. We have some wood for now in storage quite a bit. In fact, this storage, is this one full too? These three, where are you? Not really, but we have a lot. Yeah, we're in good shape on wood. Oil, let's get you back out there. We'll turn on your buddies here that will unload you. And then I may, if I have the, the room, if I have the spare workers, let's... Oh, we're already at full production here, huh? Hmm. Upgrade the oil rig. Oil rig level two. I wonder what that does for us. Production level. Okay, production level. Determines the output of the station, but also increases its demands on workers. Maintenance and unity stations can be upgraded to provide even higher production levels. Tempted to upgrade. The other thing we wanted to use construction parts for was to kind of win over this colony. Let's do it. Uh, where is our ship? Is it hanging out somewhere? No, it's there. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it here. Um, Damaged cargo ship. I forgot all about it. I didn't even know we had a third one out there that we found. Uh, let's do the settlement friendliness initiative here. We get the ship loaded up. Potatoes. Check it out. Happy about that. How is this food situation? We fill these up. Pretty good. Almost have this row done. We have a ton more storage. And then I'm a little curious how the crop rotation is going to work with this guy. Whoops. This guy says the amount of extra fertility needed on average for the current crop rotation. This I'm reading this to mean that we're okay with fertility by having these two manure crops and these two food crops. I don't know if it's the ideal combination, but hopefully it's good. Where is our fertility right now? 80, 31, I guess that's good. Yeah, this is a little complex, a lot going on here in my view, but we'll take it. Maintenance still looking good at 99%. Happy about that. Unity is still looking good. We're only going down to, you know, 0 0.3 unity a month. Health looks good. Surprisingly, we're not dealing with any pollution. Water supply, we still have a good amount in the reservoir. We might get into trouble. We might get into trouble with water. We'll see. Right now, we're leveraging edicts to save food. No, not save food. Sorry, we're leveraging edicts for... Oops, I didn't mean to turn that one on. Um, we're getting a growth boost in our population. We're getting more workers. In fact, we could almost turn that one off. Oh, man. No, I think we want the workers. I think we want the workers. Um, and then on the industrial side, we're saving fuel and we're saving on maintenance. And we're getting a farming boost. So we're doing pretty darn good on the boosts. I guess the only thing or the next thing we're waiting on is just to bridge this land. So hopefully that'll happen soon. Bricks, are they holding up? Dirt, we're down to one storage. 
I've got workers, or I have workers. Let's um, turn on this brick factory. That'll probably eat up the rest of my dirt supply there. And since we have the workers, let's turn on one of the lab equipments. And you need mechanical parts. That's these guys. Let's turn on one of these. What else? We could put this on a boost if we want to save electricity. Now Unity is at 0.93 a month. Oh, you know what we could do? We could run another factory. I mean, another uh, research lab with those extra people we have. That might not be bad. There's another big crop of potatoes going in. I don't think we need to set up separate storage for that just yet. This is for any kind of lab equipment that comes in from the ships or anything we discover. Speaking of which, let's see if our ship is loaded up. Okay, we have 120. I think that's what they wanted, right? This village wants 120. Let's go deliver the cargo. And we'll be able to recruit people from there. Okay, look at our unity now. It's at minus 1.3. I'm not sure what happened there. We can take a look. Oil rig. Edicts are costing us four. Sawmill a little bit. Research lab a little bit. Research lab is not bad, actually. Uh, we have the workers. Let's get the second research lab up. Boom. Cannot boost this, I don't believe. Oops, trying to turn this off. And then... The edicts we're using up four. What was the other one? The population growth, right? Let's take that one off for now. That'll save us one unity. We'll leave these three on for now. We'll let the Unity Clank get down to about 50 or 40. And then we'll probably turn off the farming boost. Those are excavators. You guys, I want these moving. I want this done. I suppose I could turn off this dumping site and force them to bridge this gap. This is kind of where I want to be. This is our next area of expansion. Right over here, limestone, all that stuff. We have wood to chop down. And we're only getting fill from the slag out of our refinery, or er, our furnaces here. Getting a little bit of slag. Man, it's just taking forever to fill up these Bill designations. I guess I could take these off, right? And force the issue over here. And a little over here. Are those fills? No, those are mining designations, I believe. Let's do that. Let's take this off. Because right now my problem isn't workers. It's having access to the resources I want. I want to do all that concrete brick production over here, I think. These guys are dumping. We're getting close. Can probably speed up time at this point. Let's go double speed. Pickup can't reach its destination times 11. Where are you trying to go, fellas? Over there. Why wouldn't you be able to reach that? <gasps> Did I mess up the ramp? Oh, man. <laughs> We had a collapse. We had a collapse on the ramp. That's a problem. That's a problem. All right. Let's get after that problem right now. Shoot. Well, I thought we had room, but we did have a bit of a landslide here. I suppose I should look into the retaining walls. Um, How can we recover from this? What we can do, let's clear the mining designations a little bit. Let's pull this back a tad. 
And let's put a new fill designation here. Though this will we'll probably use this one pretty quick. And rebuild that ramp. Um I think that may do it. Uh no, that's not gonna do is that gonna do it? Why do the numbers look so weird? Let's uh right click, hold on a second. We're at level three. I want to ramp up from level three. And I want you to do it right here. There we go. Now the numbers look better. Kind of like that. Boom. And I want to fill here too, but with a flat. Where are we at? Uh, these are at 10. So yeah, this can get filled. That can get filled. And then we should get our ramp back. Now I just need to... I think that should do it. Let's see if these trucks now with the rock, if they start dumping over close by. It may solve our problem and get this ramp back operational. Dirt's fine. That's not going to get dumped here. So that truck's fine leaving. This one, if it comes over here, will be in good shape. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. One little load took care of it. Awesome. 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 We'll have to figure something out about that. Because we want to do a bunch of mining. Um, we may need to, hmm, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We may need to bridge this land over here somehow. Uh, these guys are still dumping. They're very close. I think once we get in the sand pile, sand is tricky though, man. I, I get trucks stuck on the sand all the time. We'll see how we do. We can actually ramp up here. That's something, yeah, how are we going to do that? How am I going to get trucks onto this plateau to build this thing? Like, like I said, I could quick build it and it's a bit of a cheat. I'm going to try to avoid doing that. I want to see if I can get trucks up on this island legitimately. We may need to build out this way. Fill out this way and then build a ramp over here so they can actually get up. And send an ex, you know, send an ex, one of our excavators over. Iron is looking pretty good, pretty steady. Happy about that. Uh, we just researched deconstruction efficiency, so we'll get some more resources back when we chew things up. We'll be doing plenty of that as we play on, I'm sure. Rubber still looking really good. We don't even need it, but we have the workers. I suppose we could turn it on. It's gonna chew up some of our diesel. How's diesel looking? Not good. Half a tank or something. That's driving me crazy. I'm looking forward to the upgrade. Upgraded uh, this guy. I don't think the issue is at the um, offshore oil rig. I could be wrong. I guess we could upgrade this again. Tons of resource. What, a million barrels? We could go for the upgrade. Where are you? Yeah. 200 more construction part twos. That would speed things up. We have 36 workers on this. Hmm. While we're on the map, let's see where the ship is. Ship is back. We have a new colony. Hey, we donated. They're not letting us uh, recruit. <laughs> oh, man. They want another 180, right? Increase our reputation to two. Okay, you can donate some products to increase your reputation in the settlement. The better reputation you have, the more trade offers you get. Reputation also affects people adoption. The products have to be delivered by your ship. All right. What do we get? Food packs, gold, vehicle parts for crude oil. Interesting. I wonder if that's a cargo ship or what ship that would be. Okay, list all contracts available. Product on the left side is the one you are exporting. So I could export vehicle parts, right? Or vehicle part twos. I don't have those yet. Oh, man. We got lots to do. Contracts are meant to be used on a more permanent basis when compared to quick trade. Okay, a contract has to be assigned to your cargo depot. Not a trading dark. Okay, so we need a cargo depot for that. Um, 
Bummer. I thought we'd be able to adapt people from there. We can't. We can always adapt them from these. We'll hold off on that for the time being. Um, I do want to repair the other cargo ship, so let's do that. Let's get that set. That is here. Start loading. Oh, I can't because they want steel. Oh, man. All right. Let's wrap this episode here. Kind of forgot about steel. Do we have that researched even? Is that in the queue? I think that's in the queue. That's next. We're doing vehicles management now. That's going to help me get maybe more excavators out there. Can terraform a bit faster and more trucks. Then we'll get to steel smelting. And then who knows? We'll have to pick some more research after that. Gas combustion. Mechanical power storage. Oh, yeah, we haven't even set this up yet. So let's try to remember next episode to do the mechanical power storage. Organic fertilizer um, allows me to produce compost. And compost, I believe, acts a lot like dirt once you put it down. I think we can put farms on top of compost. Um, compost and water for fertilizer. And we can get compost from animal food or from biomass. Where do we get biomass? Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Biomass? Okay, it's not showing me. Um, compost, maybe? Biomass, biomass, biomass. That, maybe that's in the tech tree somewhere. Corn farming, weed farming and processing. I can digest wheat and it'll get me fuel, gas, and compost. So that's one quick way of getting dirt straight. I can turn wheat into animal food and we saw that we can turn animal food into compost. Compost is useful because it can be a substitute for the dirt. I don't think we can directly feed it into the brickworks here. Okay, we're totally out of dirt. We're going to have to get to that next episode, too. But in this landfill area where it's all kind of gross looking, we can put a layer of compost on that, and I think it effectively turns into dirt. It looks better, and we can um, put farms on top of it if we want to. So that would be possibly an argument for um, getting compost production up and running. But yeah, next episode, let's look at our terraforming crew here and see if we can't start skimming off this top layer of dirt just to keep bricks going until this last little land bridge is done and we're able to get trucks up on this landmass and start mining limestone, mining the sand, and building those concrete blocks. And then we'll change the production of all of our construction parts to use that, those concrete blocks instead of the bricks because we're clearly in a shortage, shortage situation on the bricks. But we'll get to all that kind of stuff next episode. So far, so good. We've turned the corner on people. And we have two cargo depots that are doing the job for us. Diesel, oh my gosh, look at that, a tank and a half. I want to see these full someday. But yeah, not too bad. For now, it's Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to Glattercat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support of the channel. It makes a huge difference. And I will see you all in the next episode.